Happy Christmas Eve to you all. Let's get some witchcraft going, shall we, today? What better than a pagan day to discuss pagan things, right? <laughs> we bring the sun indoors over the winter. We celebrate the birth of a new year and all of the blessings that it has to bring, right? And so today, the incense blend, again, is rose. Entrainment to a higher purpose, right? So, what is it that you're going to do on this holiday if you celebrate it? Or what is it have you done as a continuation of the 12 days of Yule, right? So, we move forward with our blends of the day. We move forward with our concepts. And a little introduction to another concept that I would like to give you. I tell you all that I'm building a thing that's going to work across the country, right? As far as creating franchise, creating skill sets, creating product, creating farmer's market engagement, creating retreat centers, creating all of these things. But I also have neglected to mention my buddy Maz. Okay, now this is a fella who is working in Africa, in the African continent. He is developing the Internet of Transportation. This is a concept where it takes physical goods, physical material, and the life and immerses it into an architecture of role play where you get to adopt the role and it becomes socially acceptable. If you have a sexual kink, you get to express it. You get to live under that JS, but you get to become the extension of that. And it serves either your mental health, it serves your community, it serves your personal development, whatever it is that you get to do, this becomes a new social construct by which it can be done. And this can be done internationally. This can be retreat centers globally. This can be local centers. This can be an extension of the immersive concepts of community building and development. So while I focus on paganism, witchcraft, magic, and the occult, there are also elements to it that are kink community related, fetish community related, um, mental health community related so that there are immersive immersive things so on this holiday it's a gift to you to go check out the link in the in the patreon description in the, in the description for him for his patreon so that's what i wanted to start off today's spell of the day for is because it's not just about giving the gift of inspiration and illumination right we have to think about how we can deliver this as a worldwide community like the spell of the day program is just one facet of a multi multi-pronged project to help with social infrastructure and help rebuild what has been broken by our ancestors by what has been broken by the previous generations by what has been broken by our current oligarchies regimes political powers things like that in a way that doesn't subvert their authority but in a way that enhances our own agency as we create socially acceptable divergent institutions right and so with that we have mistletoe it is an all-purpose herb also toxic so do not eat this do not ingest this this is going to be one of those things where you can create paint with it you can create ink blends with it so while you're drafting your ideas in your dreams for the new year mistletoe becomes a means by which you can do that the penny royal you know, blood magic from the old days. It can induce menses, so be careful. If you're pregnant, don't touch it. If you're on the pill, don't screw with it. Otherwise, for you plucky male alchemists, don't consume it. But a little of this, and Penny Royal helps give strength. So the all-purpose power for your dreams, your manifestation, and your wishes to give it strength Patchouli, the dead hippie. No, I'm kidding. Um, the patchouli is the separation of energies from that which would limit them, that which would become ineffective, right? And so this is why I talked about for the, about the two minutes, two and a half minutes, is that we have a separation of energy between what is publicly acceptable and what is privately acceptable. Now, what if there was a publicly acceptable place to go explore these with other people? A place like Pahrump, where prostitution is legal, right? But we wouldn't call it prostitution. It would be something entirely different. It would not be tr 
trafficking in sex. It would not be abusing the individual with these ideas. It would be uplifting them. It would be creating new things with them. It would be creating new opportunities for them to explore who it is they are and what it is they are for a temporary or durational period so that they could live under the application of what it is they want, right? And to consider something like that is to consider the practical application of changes to the environment. And so by those changes to the environment, we have change. And by that change, we have manifestation. And by that manifestation, we need balance. And so therefore, we add whorehound to this blend to make sure that there is a balance between our extremes. So there is no cult. There is no gross aspects of this that occur that, that, that pollute the vision of what could be. We are looking to do this in a beneficial way, right? So as we explore the different opportunities of these things, and we look at the different generations of things, I'm watching the, the Foundation series by Isaac Asimov on, Amazon, on um, Apple TV. Um, it's a fantastic series. Uh, it's really scary, but it's beautiful in a, in a, in a way, right? And so you, you have these ideas of like a genetic dynasty. You have the ideas of the maiden, the mother, the crown. You have these ideas of worlds and worlds of people thousands of light years apart from each other, being able to jump between star systems, being able to jump between with whatever technologies that they have available to them. And we're here on a ball of spinning dirt. We can't build this because of a lack of collective unity. That's absurd. We have a responsibility to figure out how to do this so that way our seven billion people on this planet can explore the globe can explore themselves safely. They can explore different aspects of themselves. They can go to different centers of learning, different centers of experience, different, sp different places of expression. So that as they grow through whatever it is that they are doing in their spell a day, in their religious prayers a day, in their services a day, in whatever it is that they can get to do for the community for that time, right? And so as you go into the holidays and you, you join with your family, what is the thing that you need as a gift for you? What would you like to do as a long-term expression of yourself? And so this is what, the, this is what the, the spell of the day is for, right? It's the uplifting of the mistletoe. It is the symbiotic relationship to nature. It is the strength given. It is the separation of energies from what was the old regimes to something that is prosperous and new, that works in harmony with every government with works in harmony with every person, every religion, every faith. Because we are not divisive with this magic. We are uniting with this magic and we are balancing with the extremes of the whorehound. And so we create this blend. And so we grind it down and we understand that by creating this the first time and evoking a mystery of celestial unity beyond just this particular planet, right? we have the opportunity to have a higher conversation, right? Like I said to Rex yesterday in the, in the Zoom, if you watch the streaming live, right? He went through those initiations. Today he's recovering from them. So my earliest initiations into the extreme arts, if you will, of sorcery and the arch magics that I teach and that I work with and that I talk about and the mathematics and the systems and all of the things behind it, it is a visceral change of the individual. And if you can provide this, and if you can understand the depth of this, what is the depth of this that you could apply to your business? What is the depth of this that you can apply to your life, your family, your kink, your fetish, your, your, your private community where you go and masturbate in the private privacy of your own per personal through OnlyFans, Tumblr, whatever the fuck it is. Like, enjoy those things. That is an uplifting and an elevation of yourself. All right, higher purpose all the way, right? I was an adult retailer for 15 years, selling toys across the country from Georgia to Vegas to San Diego, you know? That's the kind of industry I would love to get back into and I'd love to partner with. However, by doing so, I have to wait a few years because I'm waiting out the non-compete with my franchise, right? I am building 
an entire ecosystem based on paganism, based on international community, based on the recovery of grief, based on the application of witchcraft in the marketplace, based on the application of mentorship in the marketplace, based on the application of all of these things. They're all being tested by other people. They're being developed in other niches. But it's all coming through as a result of the manifestation in symbiosis with the environment. And so again, I say the mistletoe, the penny royal, the patchouli and the whorehound come together today. This is the day of Christmas Eve, right? And so while it might be celebrating a Christian concept or a Catholic concept or a modern-ish concept, right? Something that was really pioneered in the way that it's been done in the institutionaliz institutionalization of commercialism right you used to be able to do handmade gifts and now you have to buy something expensive you used to have to do it's it's, it's experiential what is a gift what does what does it you give like give an, give an expression give an experience give a time give a purpose give a thing give a meaning to a thing and so this is what this blend is for and so as you create your petitions and as you create your desires for the next year right you want to write a resolution list well, why not write a resolution list in a promise ink? That could be this. This is a symbiotic dreaming, right? Patchouli helps with the psychic in inversions. Mistletoe helps bring on psych psychicism and give induced visions, right? You know, it's it's you can you can kiss your lover beneath the, the mistletoe, right? Or you can inspire something of love, right? Well, what is it that you love and what is it that you want to inspire over the next year? That's what this blend can be used for. That's what this can do. If you think about it, if you think about the concepts of the herbs as you grind them down, as you mix them together, as you create inks and paints and incense blends, not of these because they're toxic, but of other things, that you can use to help give you a focus for what you dedicate yourself to over the next year. So that way, as we go through and as we create and as this program gets instituted in a different kind of way, as it gets people the ability to work with the different ingredients, 15 herbs every week in a different way, in a different spellcraft, in a different application, right? Than what you would normally find in application of just somebody's book over here, somebody's book over there. There is no application community. Well, this is what the community is for. That's what you should join the workable witchery groups for if you're not already participating. What's your witchcraft of the week? What spells are you creating of the day? It doesn't have to be with these herbs. To be included in the grimoire that I'm writing, I would like it to be with these herbs. Or I would like it to be a spell that you use as a result of the application of these into your life, into the application of these as a compound to the talismanic workshops that we do on the weekday, on the weekends. So Sunday at 12 noon Pacific, there is a workshop. I will drop the Zoom link as I do, and we will stream it back into the Facebook pages. So that way, those that want to come and chat, those that want to come and ask their questions outside of the right in the afternoon, outside of what Rex has been doing, outside of what Mike has been doing, outside of what we have been doing to build the community, how do you want to add to the community? What is your ad? What is your spell request? What is your need? that needs to work in symbiosis with the life that you lead. And that is the question of the day. That is the spell of the day. How do you become a symbiote manifesting all of your desires? And by this smoke, may it bless these herbs. May it be called forth to bless these herbs before me. Right? And so by this and by this application, I leave you with that thought today, my friends. So, many blessings. And if you celebrate the holidays, happy Christmas Eve to you, my friends. And I will see you tomorrow. And I will see you this afternoon for the right in the afternoon. Because, oh, there is some interesting things that I am trying to articulate in words. The project of the Havamal is intense, more so than I would imagine. It took me three and a half hours to go through one hour of video going back over it going back through it so I really recommend that project to anybody who is looking to go deep with it and to connect with the ancient wisdom because there is some really good ideas in there There's some really weird ones too really way really weird poetic ways that they they made things attached to it so 
We'll have to wait and see what two o'clock brings to you. But thank you for watching, my friends. Thank you for being part of this community. And I seriously recommend checking out the physical applications of these ideas. So that way, not only do we have the pagan communities, not only do we have their healing centers or the retreat centers, not only do we have these differences of ideas, but we have a flow through line of how they can all interconnect. So thank you. And I will see you at 2 p.m. Stay safe, my friends.